Hello and welcome, it's Chilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Originally, I'm from Birmingham in the United Kingdom, 37, 38 years ago, so I believe. I know some people have asked, that is not a complete, that is not an Aussie accent. No, it's got a mix in there and I don't think I'm going to lose my pommy accent after 37 years being in Australia. Here we go. All I was doing was trying to um, test using up some leftover paints. That was a oval canvas that I'd used previously. And I was just going to see if I could get any uh, lacing like bloom like effects just with everyday acrylics with my global acrylics and my normal pouring medium which is in the description box below. So I'm just merrily going along using the exact same paints that I would use to um, do a pour. And I thought, I'm just gonna do it like you would do this bloom effect that's the craze at the present time. Um, and I'm just gonna put um, black global paint with Floetrol as my what they call your cell activator. So there is nothing the same as a traditional bloom recipe. I'm just using everyday acrylics to see if I can get any likewise results. That's that's my cell activator, that black with Floetrol only. So I'm just popping that on top there and I'm going to blow it out and see if I get the same results. Well, certainly not like the um, traditional bloom bloom, but there are some absolutely gorgeous cells. The colours look wonderful together. I am not displeased with that at all. So I'm just going to go on now and cover my canvas and see if I can get um, something else and just mix it all up together and see what I can create. So I'm doing the puddles again and... I will just see, yeah, just see see what I can do with this very same paints and the same uh, cell activator. Thank you. 
Wow. That was um, a pretty awesome swipe if you were doing the whole thing in the that swipe, uh, swiping over the cell activator. It, it works just terrific. I am obviously here just tilting off all my goodness. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, as I said, it was an art lab day. If I don't do these days experimenting with all the different things I have in my head, then, um, well, I, I do them and I film them. So you can take with it what you will, whether you use information or you think, well, that was good. I'm glad she showed me because I won't do that. But that was just with the ordinary acrylic, acrylic. And so I'm just having fun and it actually did turn out a very pretty um, canvas just on its own as you see there. But of course I pushed the boundaries and pushed on to, there you go, do a swipe across it. So tell me what you think of the swipe. But that was a very nice painting wasn't it just on its own I believe. Oh my goodness, look at this. I swiped a mountain. I swiped a couple of mountains. And so what this did remind me very much of was the Northern Lights. Um, I, I just, uh, it, it was just coming to life as I was swiping. I was kind of just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at this, look at this. It was just taking on a life of its own and that is the joy and the wonder of this particular art form. I was so excited with this particular piece. I know it probably doesn't look much there but I was so excited with it. look at this it's like definitely like a mountain and forest backdrop with the northern lights and the reflection in front it was really quite something special it doesn't look too crash hot there but it actually is a beautiful painting that i was very very pleased with so i hope that you do uh, i hope you do like it or some of the ideas that i had there and um of course, I'm always here every day creating and hope, hoping that you like my creations and some you will and some you won't, but at least I give it a go. Try to bring a bit of um, information and joy to others' life as well as my own in, in something that I absolutely love to do. So my people, I will see you tomorrow. Just wait on for the dried effects.
so bye for now